Yes. Give me your thoughts on this series. Uh, obviously, now, and your first series casting as well for the Rocket League Summer coming in right now. So there has to be, you know, a little bit of excitement from you because you you were previously watching, you know, Stumpy and Cole. And, I mean, they're okay, but this is this is what all Twitch chat are waiting for, the Johnny, Smelly sort of show. Talk me through it. Anyway, we're jumping down. So take it away. Take it away. All right. Thank you, CJ, CJ, for letting the world know that I've rode Johnny's coattails to the top and will continue <laughs> to do so. Uh, if you want to know my pick for this game, just because, again, I love the underdog spirit and I got the first series right today, I'm going to wow. go with Galaxy Racer. You know, something about these guys, they're scrappy, they play fast, and uh, I really enjoy the players on the team. So I I'm going Galaxy Racer. Yeah, they're, they're a phenomenal little team. And really on the rise recently, coming out of nowhere pretty much for RLCS DZX. and X. Uh, whereas Giants, um, they had some pedigree. They're, you know, a really successful team in RLCS uh, Season 9 in the Rival Series. Almost got promoted into RLCS Season, uh, season 10 before it got revamped into Season X, before it got improved. But uh, Galaxy Racer, they're such an interesting team to watch. Incredibly mechanical. Incredible solo plays from all three of their players, but you can say uh, pretty much anything you can say about Galaxy Racer You can also say about Giants. They are absolutely unreal. Uh, they're incredibly aggressive. Ooh, that was almost uh, an open net there briefly, but the pass just didn't come in Yeah, I expect to see a slobber knocker in this series just two incredibly uh, scrappy teams that like to play very fast and catch their opponents off guard by doing so. And so I think this is a really, really interesting matchup. You know, you're taking two people with a similar style and both of them do it really well. Yeah, so um, the fact that Galaxy Racer are coming as, as underdogs, I would always say gives them the kind of the need to get a good start here. Oh, they're almost not gonna get one though. That was a phenomenal shot. And again, it's just aggression from Giants and they will open the scoring. One nil, full team offense really popping up yeah that that touch back to the middle from itachi ca caught both ikso and uh i think matane there on the back line completely off guard they both crept forward a little bit and consequently zamway puts it away pretty easily there yeah it's just all too easy for zamway um now galaxy racer are all about the offense the defense for them is definitely a, a more disorganized more chaotic and um, they need to just try and get the ball into attack and get the ball into the air, uh, more importantly, because these guys love to play off the ceiling, love to play off the walls. They've got to look out for the counter attacks, though, because Giants, I mean, on that last play, hit them on the counter pretty hard. It was almost just a direct goal. They needed the full team to come in and join in the play, but had they actually just hit the first shots on target, I don't think Galaxy Racer had an answer. Yeah, to me, when I watch the Giants play, it seems like they're always just waiting for that switch in play, the change in, like, the transition play, where they can come out uh, aggressive and fast, and the timing is right for them to put a counterattack on that. So I think I think that's how they catch a lot of teams off guard. So uh, excited to see more of that. Ixo decides to sit back there instead of diving in on a uh, risky rebound. That's good defense from Arjun. He's got a couple of Giants players out of the game briefly, but look how quickly they recover. That's, you know, kind of a double commit there from Giants, but it doesn't even matter. They're just going to recover so so quickly um, that there is no moment for Galaxy Racer to abuse that opening. Tachi stuffed here in the corner, trying to get that ball middle. Now we got a little bit of a counter at first there from Galaxy Racer, but it's stuffed at midfield here by Stake. I really enjoyed seeing uh, the addition of Itachi to this Giants team. I, I feel like yeah. he has brought um, some finesse and, and maybe just a little bit more order, some some polish uh, to the team, but it's been really fun to watch this roster with him. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, Itachi's a great individual talent. He's actually been around the Rock League scene for a long time, just couldn't play in RLCS because he didn't live in Europe. But now having moved to uh, Europe, he can compete um, but yeah, he's been at that top level since season one, actually, even though he's a brand new player to RLCS season X. Um, compare that to Galaxy Racer. These guys were really, you know, a lot later to the scene. Even Itachi's current teammates, Stick, Stick and Zamway, they're all very new players. Um, they just came into the scene a couple, maybe three seasons at the most. Um, but they've had great success at Giants, calmly in the lead, 
And oh, oh all of a sudden, oh my goodness, Stick almost own gold. And look at the pressure, but Dane equalizes. It, well, I said they were in a cam lead. I guess I shouldn't have opened my mouth because as soon as I said that, it was just all chaos. <laughs> it's like a pinball machine in the box. Zamway's like, what? A calm lead? I'm going to smash this off a stake real quick. Make Johnny's cast completely wrong. That was, uh, that was terrifying. <laughs> and uh, clearly a, a cataclysm that, uh, or a catalyst rather, that's set off uh, the event of Galaxy Racer being able to apply pressure and score there. We got a 1-1 game here and only 30 seconds left. It's, uh, yeah, it's looking, it's looking promising this whole oh. series here. Nice oh. shot from Arju. Okay, well, what a comeback for Galaxy Racer. Another just really weird mistake. Look at that from the Giants. It's just by itself the, uh, the ceiling a bit harder than Stake expected, I believe, because he just whiffed. There's no other way to describe it. He just missed the ball. Uncontested, no pressure, he had backup and he just didn't get contact. Now they've got 15 seconds to try and get that equalizer. Yeah, it's uh, a tall order, but there is still enough time. Matein takes that 50-50, Ixo off the wall. That ball's gonna come down to him. He's got possession. He's gonna try, use his tricky one skills to get this to the middle. They've got to keep this ball up. Arju's still backing off. Tachi hits it into the corner wow. and down. Oh my, well, that wasn't what I expected. The Giants were just cruising there. Um, but that's the danger of a one goal lead, especially um, against a team like Galaxy Racer. It looks like Giants are aware of the speed that they're up against, which is no surprise to me. They know all about how fast uh, Galaxy Racer are, so they're trying to defend at high speed, and it's forced a couple of misplays out of them. Now, uh, into the next game, they've got a couple of options. Do they just slow it down a little bit, try to play more consistently, or are they going to try and keep that up and just, uh, you know, just not miss the ball. <laughs> it's, it's a lot easier to just have that plan. Ah, yeah, let's just do the same thing and not miss uh, than it is to execute on it, especially uh, under the pressure now that they're uh, going to be reeling from uh, losing that lead. Yeah, you know, you got probably a little bit of first game jitters here, first series of the day for, for these guys. Who knows how much they warmed up beforehand. Sometimes, uh, you know, you don't get enough reps in ahead of time mm -hmm. and you know, I think that this first loss, hopefully it sends them, you know, a wake up call where they're like, okay, all right, it's time. Like, you know, we've got a formidable opponent in front of us. We need to step it up. And it's less of a situation where they feel like, oh no, we didn't expect these guys to take games off of us. And yeah. Now look, yeah, now look, oh, it's going badly. Oh no. And then it starts to spiral. Um, but this is a good team. So I'm expecting more mm -hmm. of the former rather than the latter. Yeah. Is it time? If, you know, if they've been watching any of Arsenal's YouTube videos, they'll know. <laughs> that it can be time at any time like the most it's mundane time. thing can happen and it can still be time oh i love these camera angles look at this beautiful view of the waterfall there as we come down to forbidden temple that's what you like to see yeah i'm glad they found a way to uh legalize drones inside of egg world yeah it's it's good to know it gives us a glimpse of what our our lives could be was that the problem forward. legalization Whoa. it wasn't uh just the fact that they weren't invented yet i mean i don't know rocket league looks like it's a, a pretty advanced kind of you know universe uh, mm -hmm. with cars being able to do these things Matane there uh boost over ball maybe looks great in the suit as always i think Matane's like def definitely the one of the most dashing rocket league car designs in the seat um but there the only thing dashing was uh, how quickly he was moving out of position um uh, you know it doesn't matter how good your car looks you still got to get goal side of the ball Matane does on that play i'm blaming cell phone notifications here johnny mm. it's uh it's taught us to jump at a moment's notice and anything flashy and stake pounds in another goal this is a great pass middle from the giants Look at these guys go. They're answering back on that first game. Yeah, great response here. Um, the pressure is completely turned around. They were under a lot of uh, heat in the first game. They, you know, didn't really take that many shots to their net, but they were still playing in the half for most of the game. They were having a counterattack for the majority of it. No, that's not the case here. They are setting up shop on the halfway line. Oh, ixo has got a 1v1 play, though. Denied well by Zamwe. Definitely the two players on the field with the most 1v1 experience. Um, I'd love to see those little duels in the middle of the game here between uh, rival players, especially when you see someone scary like Ixo coming forward. 
Tachi takes a 50-50 there, awkward 50-50 in front of the net. We see that these lead to so many goal situations, and especially in 3v3, because as a defender, you just don't know which way those 50-50s are gonna pop out uh, a high percentage of the time. Sometimes, of course, you do. You can see how the cars are positioned, but other times, it's a mystery, and uh, that can cause a lot of problems for both the offense and the defense. Yeah, and you've always got to be a bit more careful, um, especially in a game that's close like this. It's, you know, it, it is a two goal lead, but there's so much time left on the clock. There's no need to go completely all in on a 50 50 on Galaxy Racers end. And likewise, for Giants, they definitely don't need to go all in on a 50 50 uh, going well for them. They can always play it safe um, because they have got that two goal cushion to sit on. Look at the speed of Itachi there, just beating uh, the Galaxy Racer player to the ball with ease. And, uh, that's been something that has looked pretty even so far. The pace that both teams are playing at, pretty much inseparable. I would have to agree. Let's see what Itachi can do here off the wall onto the ceiling. It's a nice 50-50, tries to center that one. This pressure that the Giants have is uh, quite high right now. Nice touch there by Stake to keep that ball in the offensive half, giving his teammates a chance to rotate and uh, get in position here. As they do have a two-goal lead, they don't need to push anything too hard. Yeah, they are still going to play pretty aggressively, though. They know that the worst thing you could do against Galaxy Racer is give them all the space in the world. So even though, although they're not going to go completely all in offensively, they're still getting into the face of the ball as early as they can. That's a great pass. And it is going to go in for 3-0 Samway. Just smacks it straight down the middle. Um, but it's all about the pass here from Stake. Just perfectly done. Yeah, you said it, and a nice drop down pass. There was no way for the defense to get in there. They basically had to pre-jump and guess on that one, and uh, the Giants strike a nice ball into the back of the net there. This is 3-0. We've got two minutes left. Of course, there is comeback time here, um, but it is a tall mountain to climb when you look at how well the Giants are playing in game number two. Yeah, they've really been the better team overall oh. for two games was saved by Samway. Oh, Matane, you had the whole goal there, buddy. Um, surely scorable if it had gone to either side. But as is, Giants have got a much more comfortable lead than they did in the first game. They'll really feel like they should have won that first game, conceding such a late equalizer um, off the back of a double commit in defense. So it was kind of unnecessary. But this game, really no doubt so far. Giants have played brilliantly. And Galaxy Racer needs to sort this out. They are, I'd say, just getting completely outplayed in the midfield. They're not reading the game to the level that the Giants are. So a nice dunk here from Zamway. It falls middle to Itachi, and Arju makes it just to the corner of the net in time to watch that ball go in. Plenty of open space there for the Giants to shoot at. This is uh, starting to become a runaway game number two. And you sort of worry for uh, Galaxy Racer at this point. Oh, Will they be able to recover from a, a game like this? It's not quite a blowout, but it doesn't look like they have an actual answer in the form of, uh, you know, counterplay to what they're seeing from the Giants right now. The Galaxy Racer is so focused on solo plays, and they are very dangerous with their solo plays, like I mentioned earlier. But there's a real lack of connection. Um, between all their players when they're trying to find passes. There's really nobody there to pass to, and you can bear that to Giants. I love the movement of Zamway in particular off the ball. He's making himself so easy to pass to, and now five, five goals go in. Like, this is just something else. Um, Zamway with the assist this time. Itachi just beats Ixo to the rebound. And, yeah, Galaxy Racer just going to have to forget about this one. It's uh, not even been close. Gal or Giants are just stomping them. Yeah, this looks like a completely different series on like a different day at a different tournament in a completely different time of year without festive hats. Yeah. The uh, waterfall camera angles, you know, it's uh, going to need to be a big change. It's going to need to be a change that big from Galaxy Racer to come back here. But when that happens in Rocket League, you know, we've seen this many times before. Big one sided win followed up with, uh, you know, the other team stepping up and completely changing the script. But that's what the Giants did in this game. You know, they, they might feel like they should have won the first game just because they threw away a late uh, equalizer to Galaxy Racer. But they won't mind. You know, this is the perfect way to just completely move on from that. 
uh, and get the momentum fully in your favor. Oh, maybe a late equalizer here. Not going to happen with Fitachi on the scene. Great game for every Giants player. They're even keeping it up for zero seconds just briefly. But not for too long. Don't want to give Galaxy Racer a consolation goal. It's good to see the enforcement of rule number two at the end of the match there. Um, man, Giants looking good. If you look at the stats line here, uh, Giants looking like they're outpacing Galaxy Racer in every facet um, in this last game. Uh, what do you reckon, Johnny? Do you think we're going to see a completely different Galaxy Racer after this? Do you think they'll, they'll know to, you know, stop the solo plays and start being a team? Well, if, if this was, you know, the first game of a series and that's the only game to go off, I would actually not feel too uh, bad for Galaxy Racer. You could just put it down to them starting slowly. Um, but the fact that that's game two and, you know, they had to make a really late comeback in game one to take the win, the only win that they've got so far, makes me a little bit worried for Galaxy Racer. Uh, maybe they've been downloaded here by Giants. And I do want to point to that off the ball movement again uh, of the Giants. I love the way that they are providing options for each other. Uh, mm. Compared to Galaxy Racer, who are kind of just reacting to every uh, single play that happens. They're not moving uh, into position ahead of time. Um, now that might just be uh, a deliberate choice. That might be an intentional prioritization of solo plays instead of, um, you know, risking forward runs. But you got to mix it up a little bit. Giants are too good to, uh, to just clip on. I mean, I say that, but watch, I bet you in the next... Uh, minute of gameplay we're going to see a ceiling shot from every single Gal galaxy racer player they're going to be winning three nil uh, but you know it, it, they're good enough to do that but it's still not i think a reliable strategy against giants yeah hey maybe don't do it alone do it together get some ceiling shots yeah. together who knows uh you got to try something different you know obviously rocket league is very momentum based in terms of scoring so if uh galaxy racers strike first in this game that's that's definitely a good sign um, and will definitely make them feel like they have momentum again. And, you know, hopefully we do see some sort of counterplay develop uh, in this game number three. Yeah, you got to think as well, though, that Giants might just be built perfectly to defend against Galaxy Racers offensive style. That really fast paced oh. aerial based play. Oh, hold on a second, oh. though. Mateen's going to roll one in. Well, we're talking all about the Galaxy Racer aerials. This one about as far away from an aerial as you can get. <laughs> it was just a hard read, but Zane just predicted perfectly where that one was going to go. Yeah, I love I love goals like that. You know, everybody talks about the upper 90, but the bottom 90, I mean, oh, to be yeah. honest, the bottom 90 is it's pretty hard in a pro level match to score a bottom 90 goal like that. Oh, there was the ceiling yeah. shot that you'd been waiting for, Johnny. Yeah, it's well, it's kind of like you know, we, we call it in, in Scotland, the upper 90s, uh, top bins. Uh, you know, bin, garbage can, just for any American viewers watching, I guess, would be the equivalent. But the, the bottom 90, I guess, you could call the floor bin, because it's all it's all the way down there. Mm, so it's just yeah. a, a really useful thing to have in any room in the house. Um, you know, it's not a full bin that really just becomes a bit ugly, um, you know, and eye-catching in the wrong way. But, you know, just hides away there, but still has the very useful component of holding all your rubbish. Man, what about a recycling bin? Could it be the recycling bin or maybe like the compost? <laughs> I wonder what, the, what would the Rock League equivalent of a recycling bin be, I wonder? I, I suppose that's when um, actually a top corner shot gets saved and then you have to shoot again. Um, so uh, that's the uh, that's the recycling. It's the act yeah, of maybe, saving. Maybe any post, post read where it like flies oh, back okay, to you, yeah. you know? Um, the, yeah, the, maybe it, the accidental ones, maybe the accidental ones, you know, the, 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 the recycling bin, the, the shot where you're mm -hmm. trying to hit it hard and bang it off the post and everybody knows it's not intentional, but it did work. That's the recycling bin, maybe. I don't know. I think that works. Personally. Tell us Twitch chat. What do you think? Worked for me. One, um, for, one for the post and two for the, what was the first one you said? The, wait, for the crossbar? Yeah, okay. Post, post crossbar, whatever. Okay, we're in agreement. It's, yeah, I think Twitch chat are, are also fully in agreement with us here. I don't think they're um, listening to us, actually. I think, let's <laughs> be honest, I don't think <laughs> the game. I didn't I mean, see I, I don't blame I them. I saw three numbers. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, uh, yeah, I think I think they're perfectly right to watch the game here. It's been a really interesting one between Giants and Galaxy Racer. It, it always will be when you've got such talented mechanical players of both squads. But, um, gotta still say, I think Giants are overall 
the more comfortable team, even though they're losing this, they're still slightly more comfortable um, in this game. It is 1-0 to Galaxy Racer, by the way. To anybody who's just tuned in, 1-0 in this start game, there it is. Just a little guessing game there, mid-game. Think your production team's trying to keep us, uh, keep us on our toes here, Matt, which is always good. Yeah, that's it's, it's good. My favorite way to stand is with toes. So yeah. um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of it. Ooh, you no. want to get taller. Team yeah. bump there. Damage mitigated, but shot coming in from midfield. Ooh, we got a touch there from the Galaxy Racer side to avoid the double tap posterization of their team. They did well. Just uh, besides that, uh, besides that, um, you know, goal earlier, I just haven't seen a lot of offense generated here from this Galaxy Racer team. But, you know, maybe that could be said of both teams. It's been a bit of a midfield battle ever since then. Yeah, Galaxy Racer responding pretty well to a 6-0 defeat. Uh, but they need to be careful. This isn't a team that are going to go down without a fight. Giants. We'll just stop the aggression in the final minute here, I'm sure. They're going to go for... I mean, if they weren't already going for every single aerial and every single rebound as quickly as possible, that's kind of what they're known for, then they definitely are going to now. That's phenomenal control by Eek. So it takes one out of the game, takes two out of the game as well. That's the sort of work that Galaxy Racer just have to do for the next 40 seconds. Play efficiently, play safely. It's almost in! Well, the Galaxy Racer are already rotated out into defense. They didn't want to commit anyone on that play. They might wish they did after it just rolled it right across. Yeah, they have to hang on here for 24 seconds. Ooh, nice shot from Arju. Now Ixo's up. Will he get the shot on net? Not quite. Gets blocked away by the Giants. Giants are scrambling to keep this ball out of the net and keep the goal only one away. Ooh, this is gonna be it. It looks like Arju knows how to run down the clock, but that ball oh. sent into the backfield and a oh weird, my. awkward pre-jump from Ixo. Oh Ixo. my. <laughs> Whoa. That was a bit stressful being on Ixo's camera there at the end of the game, but <laughs> yeah. Galaxy Racer does hold on to uh, oh my. bring this series back. Wow. Absolutely, absolutely bizarre little pre-jump there from Ixo at the end. I was thinking, you know, they're good. Ixo's got the whole field covered. He's all the way back. But then he just jumped and made it interesting <laughs> right at the end there. <laughs> Somehow, um, he actually made contact with the ball. So it was a great read, actually. But, oh boy, Galaxy Racer took a second game here. Now Giants have to see if they can respond with another 6-0 win, maybe. Um, but this was uh, just a composed performance from Galaxy Racer, really showing experience. They might be a new team to uh, RLCS Season X. But they have learned so much already in this season that they don't really panic, even though they got crushed game two. It still only counts for what for that one game. Um, so they are good to go. They're ready for uh, the next one here. Halfway there. Couple wins on the board already. I mean, both of these teams have already done better than BDS today, getting at least one win. Hey, that that is true. Uh, obviously, that being a pretty surprising result. But man, did Dignitas look good in that first series? Oh, we got a quick goal scored here in game number four. Galaxy Racers have come to play. The super sub, Arju, knocks this one into the floor bin. Yeah, and you don't usually hear, uh, you know, bottom middle placement being called good placement. But it was actually perfect because the goalkeeper is diving off the top left corner. So that was one place that was really hard for him to get to. A double commit here from Giants. Uh, Galaxy Racer have a small chance here with Arju on the counter-attack. He's got ahead of the ball in his air dribble attempt. Uh, now actually a real question for Giants. They've been, I'd say, pretty comfortable in this matchup. They haven't been under too many threats, but they have conceded a large amount of their uh, the times Galaxy Racer have been in their faces. Um, compared to how much success they've been having in the attack in the past game and a half, maybe. But no. The turn for Galaxy Racer oh, to be on the save. defense. That is a great save. Matein dives across the goal. And a, a nice back pass maybe from uh, Giants. Keeps possession. They're really having to work for this one. Goals are, you know, they came so freely in game number two. Maybe they should have saved some of those for later in the series. Yeah, the Giants are a pressure sponge right now. This, uh, this Galaxy Racer squad is keeping them in their half and scrambling at that. It's not, it's not a, a comfortable defensive oh, wow. set. Look at that. Two players commit a demo in net. 
Ixos up. Oh, it's broken up by Itachi, but again, these guys are in full panic mode right now. This is not good if you're a Giants fan. Yeah, we asked for a better movement off the ball from um, Galaxy Racer. That's what they're giving us here. Matane was a bit unlucky there. He got landed on while he was flying in for a free aerial. Galaxy Racer, unsatisfied with a one goal lead. Look at Ixos' defense. That's phenomenal stuff. Again, just dismantling the midfield line of Giants. They're not, they've not been allowed. Giants haven't been able to just establish that line on the midfield um, halfway line and keep Galaxy Racer in there because Galaxy Racer's outplays moving out of defense are so impressive. What a save, Samwe! We'll deny the initial shot there from Matane. And there's still more Galaxy Racer players queuing up here to score. Oh, all three Giants players here at the corner. Now they're dispersing to try and get some boost. This is not looking good right now. Galaxy Racer's... Uh, pressure and offense is just completely caught them off guard in this game let's see if they can convert some offense here oh close one that ball kept from the front of the net by argue i believe i couldn't quite see which uh which galaxy racer player that was but it was a nice play nonetheless argue working with zero boost trying to squeeze this into the center giants have defended successfully for now that's a great pass, Itachi. We'll try and double it, of course. But he's hit the first touch too low. Oh, he just couldn't fly back down into it. And that was the perfect plan. But he just didn't execute on it. And once again, Giants trail by a goal with over three minutes gone. It's been a real tough task to get goals on Galaxy Racer ever since game two ended. They just can't do it. Man, as a season one, Andy, I got to say the state of the meta in Rocket League is incredible. You know, we see oh, him yeah. hit that pass down to himself off the backboard and we're like so surprised he didn't make that touch. Yeah, I'm like, oh, wow, I can't believe he didn't make that. I can't it's believe he didn't make that incredibly usually difficult scores. thing that I wouldn't even <laughs> dream of trying. Unreal <laughs> to see yeah, where that... these pros are at these days. Oh, yeah, it really just shows what's possible with Rocket League and there's so much farther to go as well. Rocket League has advanced incredibly fast in the past five years since its inception. Um, but there's way more yet to be discovered about this game um, in terms of, you know, pre-jumps and multiple reset plays. There is actually a pre-jump from Zamway oh. uh, as we were talking about it. But I don't know, it wasn't Zamway, it was another Giants player. They've actually been uh, giving those a go this series. Just not, you know, it's the next step for attacking a ball as early as possible. Oh, oh, wow, Archie that was a great demo, but it's wide. Oh, no. My goodness, Johnny. This is reminding me of our two wow. sessions when I clear out oh, the and you oh. just anyway. Nice touch. <laughs> what well, touch by Itachi. And this one couldn't be any further away from our two sessions. See, usually when I pass to you in that kind of range, you just hit the crossbar. But True. Um, Itachi slots it underneath it. Beautiful. Um, the demo play before that was so well done. It was... It's Stake who just annihilated Arju on the net, but Itachi missed the target. For a brief moment there, Giants were struggling with their finishing, but they have put one in. And that should be the great equalizer now, not just because it is the 1-1 score, but it should be the thing to reset them, the big button that gets their accuracy back. Yeah, sometimes you just need a good one, or even a trashy one, just to or a get bad one. back on track. Yeah. Sometimes they're really bad one. I mean, sometimes the the most hype moments can be the absolute worst goals <laughs> in yeah. Rocket League. Basically, it's basically how bad does this make my opponent feel? If very oh, bad, yeah. then I'm really excited. Oh, this exactly. is a tense situation. Five seconds left. Zamway air dribbles this one middle. No oh, way! Oh, what a save oh. by Ixo falling to hold on for dear life. And now we are in overtime. Oh my goodness. Can you believe it? That was about as close as you're going to get on a zero second play without scoring. Ixo somehow held his nerve and just reacted perfectly to what happened. I remember, it's just one more goal for Galaxy Racer to take a triple match point position. And that's huge in this group because whoever loses this has to play against BDS in a loser round match. And the loser of that will be out of the tournament. So losing in this matchup is a nightmare um, oh, on paper. What a dunk from our <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, State gets back for that, but if he had, like, just assumed that ball was going through and drove forward a little bit more, they might have had some trouble with that. That was that was crazy. Yeah, ridiculous read 
Um, Galaxy Racer just giving themselves options here. They're sticking their neck out there and seeing what happens. Oh, what a catch by Mitsane. That looked incredibly awkward, but he's collected it on the back wall, keeps possession. He might even get a second touch on this one. Almost gets it past the last defender. Eeks so well, and he's got a chance for a reset play. Has to go for the mind game. Itachi doesn't fall for it. If you are, I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. If Ixo has the ball and open, you know, open field like that, you're on the goal line and you just have to either guess or wait and see what he does, you should be nervous because he oh, yeah. is a lethal scorer. Oh, this ball drops down to Ixo. Oh, what a save, Itachi. Heroic Second. save here to keep these guys in it. It is one minute and 30 seconds into overtime and there have been a multiple opportunities for Galaxy Racer to score. And now Giants looking for their own opportunity, but Arju's down the field. Redirect, both players up. Oh, gets a crucial touch off to the side. Yeah, Tachi's defense is keeping Galaxy Racer at bay. And now a chance for Giants, but Matane confidently shuts it down. That's a nice touch into the corner. He's going to go for a bump on the goalkeeper as well. It's left alone for Arju, who has found stake waiting on the crossbar. Oh, That's the second touch. Shot. Oh my oh, goodness, it surely oh. it is! Arju will finish this game in OT. It's triple match point for Galaxy Racer, but look at Matane's deftest of touch to set this up. Unreal. That second touch juked everybody in the lobby and probably everybody in Twitch chat as well. Well <laughs> done from Galaxy Racers. What a turnaround from game number two. Completely different team. Wow. Yeah, they've really stepped up here. This is huge because in that second game, I was really worried for them because it looked like Vodafone Giants movement was just so much better than them. There were so many more options for Vodafone Giants players to get pl uh, you know plays started um, with passes. Now, Galaxy Racer, since then, they've actually been connecting a ton of passes. So they must have identified this. They've actually um, started giving each other options and plays. And not only that, but they are confidently hitting passes at each other. Um, starting off this game with a nice double setup didn't uh, convert on it, but they're actually giving each other chances. They're being aggressive, even in a close overtime here. All three players are, they're far up the field. They're going for that goal. We had a deliberate, like really sneaky touch by Matane, and then Ixo, I think, accidentally faked out the last defender um, because he went for a dunk at the same time as the defender did. But uh, that's, just, that's just all the past now. Giants need three wins in a row. If they don't get uh, three wins in a row, they play against BDS and the loser of that go the game goes home, which would just be insane. Giants and BDS, one of them not making it into the top six, mental. Yeah, this field of teams today, obviously incredibly tough competition for everyone, but this would definitely be registered as an upset. And if correctly, if it does happen, I will be correct on all of my team guesses thus far today. It's impressive. Thank you. I don't have much, but I do have that. Got to take what you can get. I mean, I, I, I wasn't here for BDS Dignitas, but I would have 100% predicted BDS to win that. So I, I'm going to say straight away, definitely getting that one wrong. Um, I mean, 4-0 is just unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I did think Giants would have the edge in this matchup. Not looking like the case. Oh, what well, a pass by uh, Stake, but it was sent into the crossbar by Itachi, and there was nobody there for the recycling bin. Gotta have somebody there for the recycling bin. For the combo yeah, it just, gets a, it just gets out of control if you don't uh, put it away every once in a while. Just piles up on you, you know? One thing you highlighted earlier and I was just so impressed with as well is Ixo's defense. Like just a couple times, like I think what it is is like his defense and his mechanical transition to a different surface, whether it's the back wall or right above the net or to the ceiling. That one touch that we were both looking at was the one where it didn't appear he was going to take a ceiling shot. He touched the ball and then went to the ceiling yeah. very smoothly. It's just he's been incredible to watch this series. Yeah, it's a of dangerous defense. ball in front of net there. It's actually been putting in work for Giants. He's been making multiple last man saves, clears, and just keeping these, um, even the Galaxy Racer boys back, but still hasn't been enough to deny them for the entirety of these games. A uh, big play for Itachi. He's annihilated in the air by RG. That was a great challenge. And now Stake's oh, not no. looking comfortable. Oh my goodness. It's not Stake, it's a mistake. And Galaxy Racer lead 1-0. 
Wow. Mistake indeed. Similar to that pun. Arju <laughs> <laughs> takes the one goal lead. Galaxy Racer, as you said, on match point right now. The Giants have got to be feeling the pressure if they weren't feeling it already. And they're running out of time as well because with low scoring games in the last couple, you have to imagine there won't be many goals available. There are not going to be many chances for Giants. Oh, and look oh, at the defense. So yeah, Galaxy Racers defense is looking solid. They have every option covered. The pass there was covered. The spell was covered. They've got responses, oh, but not to this play. Take on the exit. Turns the ride and puts it all back where it's coming from. This is just an incredible play. Lovely. And you got to watch out for players that are retreating from the box. It is such a vulnerable position and unexpected position to shoot from, but really, really nice play there for the Giants. They take it to 1 1 to stay alive in this series. Yeah, I don't think that goal should bother Galaxy Racer too much. You know, that's definitely one that you just have to say it happens. Uh, let's just go next. Right. Uh, yeah. That's a Jesse Scream goal. You know, it's just a bit of a chaotic situation. How on earth are you supposed to see that coming? But, uh, Giants have capitalized. And uh, will Galaxy Racer be able to clutch it up again? They did in the previous game, won an OT. They had a ton of chances in OT. Giants weren't easy to break down by any means. Um, they're also not looking too vulnerable here. They've got good coverage, back wall goal, and the player with the ball all defended. And that's really the trifecta that you're looking at for Rocket League defense these days. Do you have the pass covered? Do you have the shot covered? And do you have actually somebody challenging the ball? Well, Ixo challenges there in the back corner. Arju's rotating in here, but not much boost. Does get a nice touch on that ball. I don't think it actually ever hit the ceiling, or if it did, it was a very light touch. So he did well, buy some time for his team. And this ball is, you know, I think it's unfair to say sometimes a ping pong, but uh, this ball right before that shot did seem to be sort of ping ponging around without a lot of possession uh, being worried about. The Giants are up for that shot. Oh! What a save! This Galaxy Racer team will not go away. Oh, the dunk. Tachi in the corner. Just. Now Stig getting in middle. Okay, good clear here from Matane as he chases after the ball. Arju following in tow. He doesn't have very much boost though. He's gonna peel off this. Now Giants trying to work it out of the back corner into the offensive half. Itachi by himself. Now Zamway flings himself at the ball. Stake flings himself oh, at the ball. Now Itachi is in the backfield here. And Matane calmly dribbling and putting up centering pass across the net that was dangerous for those Giants players. Arju chips one into the middle. These guys are putting the pressure on. Right now, it doesn't look like the Giants are going to be able to mount the pressure they need to get that last second goal. Ixo chips that into the corner, and that looks like it's probably going to be it, Johnny. Oh, unless Matein has something to say about it. He tries to keep this one alive. Arju, likewise. Ixo races. Oh, Samway loses. Stakes trying to keep it up, but he's dropped it. Oh, oh my goodness. The pressure from behind was too much. Stake couldn't keep control. And again, we're going into overtime. I'm not going to lie to you. I was sort of casting that like we weren't going into overtime and that it was actually the end of the match. But... <laughs> I can't believe it, Stake. Oh, man, you you just got to clutch up in that moment. But they do have, you know, another chance to close the game out here. Let's see what Itachi can do. He takes that to the sky. Ixo's on the back wall here. Oh, really great defense wow. once again by Ixo. Calm, composed, brings that ball off the backboard. And now the Galaxy Racer starts their offensive pressure. Oh, it's so what? Good. Good read by Stake. Oh, another shot! This Giants defense is holding strong, but how long can they put up with this much pressure? Well, yeah, it's half their defense and half just thank goodness that Arju hit the post. I don't know if anybody had that one covered, but Galaxy Racer didn't hit the target when they had the best chance of OT so far. Minute in, it's still back and forth in the midfield. We've got players in reserve for both squads. And that's a phenomenal interception. Samway denies Arju a look at goal. Stake is up. That 50-50 falls in the middle. That's going to be a Galaxy Racer ball. Pinging it off the backboard. Nobody on the backboard from the Giants. Oh. Demo in the net. Zamway saves. Nonetheless, another demo. The Giants team being brutalized on the back line. Now it's their time for offense. Flick goes through. But the ball 
always seems to return to the Giants half and into the possession of this Galaxy Racer team. Yeah, it's all Galaxy Racer right now. Giants need to catch a breather. They've got to try and be so careful with their boost totals because they keep getting starved. They keep getting stuck in defense. And it's so rare for them to be the slower of the two teams. It's so rare for them to get beaten to the ball. Oh, they won't get beaten to that one. That was a chance. What a block though. Arju flies on to his own second touch and denies what would have been an uncontested aerial. It's a chance again for Galaxy Racer to mount some pressure. They are just playing so aggressively right now. Tain drives forward for a fake challenge. Maybe a little bit too far, actually. The Giants bump on their offensive push. That is not going to help them score unless by some randomness of that bump, something crazy happens. Oh, what a shot! Oh! Stake flies in to take this game and take this match to the next round. The Giants are still alive. Wow, Matano wish he could get that one back. He sort of lost control there, just popped it off the corner wall. He was trying to keep it nice and close for a 50-50, but he got dunked on. Then whenever the ball's bouncing off the corner wall like this, out into the middle, it's going to favor the attacking team, especially, especially a team like Giants. They love to attack those back wall bounces as quickly as possible. But what a game here. This is phenomenal stuff from both teams. Um, Galaxy Racer stepping up uh, a level in this matchup because I thought Giants would have a noticeable advantage, albeit like a small one still. Didn't expect Galaxy Racer to be able to play at their level, maybe even a little bit better up until now. But they failed to get the job done here. That's match uh, That's match point number one in the bin. It's out the window. Um, and now Giants just have to get two more. So, you know, it's all about that uh, that sixth game. If, if Giants can take game six, then surely you've got to think they're taking game seven as well. By then, like they've got all of the momentum and Galaxy Racer missing a couple of match points here. The fear of facing BDS in the lower rounds of this group stage, that's got to start getting to them. Let's just hope Galaxy Racer is staying calm and collected as Ixo does in the, uh, you know, in the backfield in defense. Because if they're doing that, then they probably know that they just got to keep playing their game. It's not as if that was some sort of game where they got blown out. I mean, they were like in control of the majority of that actual game. A nice flick oh here from Arju. I mean, that is that is a nasty flick here from like roughly half field. Look at this. Yeah, great timing on it. Zamwe just did not get up with enough speed. Now, usually in that kind of position, Zamwe would save this. He would just accelerate a bit faster before jumping, pop the ball into the crossbar. And the fact that he's missed it must have come as a huge surprise to stake. And that's a chance for Ixo to do the same. He can't get the flick to roll up off the top of his car, though. Um, Bolt just kind of bobbled off the top of his uh, car as he went for the setup there. Does happen. But uh, you wouldn't expect to see too many of those mistakes from Ixo. It looks like Galaxy Racer having their way with the dribbling early on oh, Zamway. With an insane solo play. Oh my goodness, 420 remaining in the game. Zamway has just got goal of the day. Wow. I cannot believe wow. that shot from Zamway. My tiny little hat almost fell off my big giant old head, Johnny. I'm almost speechless. Yeah, don't let that happen. You're going to lose it. You're never going to find it if it falls out on the floor. That's that's true. That's true, actually. Pretty, you know, trouble. pretty, pretty clever of you. <laughs> I didn't expect you to come up with anything that clever. Oh! You, okay. Archie has got the Midas touch right now. He's, he's like, hey, guys, pass me the ball. I'm just going to launch that net. And for uh, some reason, no one will save it. Yeah, it's just straight down the middle again. It's just that rare good placement down the middle. Usually, it's when you hit the ball center um, in the goal, it's a bad thing. The, but that time it was actually between both defenders. It was where it was kind of confusing for them. Oh, Ixo makes it 3-1. And that is just not a position you want to be in as the last man back. Ixo in the 1v1 with Zamwe just got the job done there. Yeah, yikes. That is that that is tough. Um, you know, as I said earlier, nobody wants to be in a 1v1 situation with Ixo ever. So tough, <laughs> tough break there for the Giants. Yeah, it was a messy kickoff and Galaxy Racer capitalized. Ixo with a first touch. Can he get a second touch? I think he might. Oh, he does miss. And Itachi smashing his face on the wall. Yeah, he might be smashing his face in the wall in real life as well in a couple of minutes if this keeps going. <laughs> but there's a good chance. Oh! It's got to be a goal. Surely no, Itachi's missed. Oh, no! As if there wasn't already enough face smashing content. There is oh. another one. 
Surely no. Samway will put it in. Thank goodness Galaxy Racer, or rather Giants got a goal on this play. If they failed to score with these opportunities, they would have been so tilted. But Samway just got there too quickly for the in and out save. Wow, wow, wow. The Giants are keeping this one interesting, uh, and Galaxy Racer really just want to put this one away. Um, you know, it doesn't seem like either team has incredible momentum based on the other's position. You know, it doesn't seem like Galaxy Racer has this, oh, we're definitely going to win, foregone conclusion sort of momentum. It doesn't seem like Giants have this insane comeback momentum. It's just very close and even this entire time. Yeah, there has been. Up. Oh! oh. Trick for Arju. Incredible read off the pass from, who was it? Matane? Oh, it's Ixo. Oh, Ixo. Ixo just got there so quickly. Wow. He just read Itachi so well. Itachi was trying to pass the ball into the center. And unfortunately for him, Ixo saw that coming. He was the first person on the scene. And he just put the ball way too high for the last defender to have a chance. That's the kind of passing that I love to see from Galaxy Racer. Um, They've obviously got immense solo play potential. They've got unbelievable talent mechanically. Um, and they're playing a great positional game to, to deny Giants the kind of chances that they're usually just farming in this kind of matchup. Um, but yeah, again, it's, it's all about those passes for me. Any kind of team play coming at Galaxy Racer, that's what takes them to the next level. That's what makes them look so dangerous. Tachi tries to dribble this one out of the backfield. The Galaxy Razor defense uh, and pressure at midfield is formidable right now. RG with great touch there. Zamway's pre-jump is effective. Tachi passing this one middle. Stake goes up, doesn't quite keep up with the pace. Now Zamway on the dribble. Soft shot, it's rejected by Matane. So up and Matane stays on the back wall because this ball isn't fully in a safe place yet. Now he'll look to dribble that out of the back corner. Still a long time left in the game here. Been a ton of goals compared to the last few that we've had. I mean, only that second game of the series, the complete blowout for Giants. 6-0 um, was the one that they got. But uh, are they going to be able to make anything off this? Galaxy Racer are sitting comfortably, uh, despite the amount of time that they've got left. Samway goes up, can try to touch this one center. It doesn't go very far. Ooh, but he does follow it. Nice clear from Arju and Ixo stretches, but can't get a touch on the ball. Looking for a pinch, pinches it middle. Who's first to it? It's Matane off the wall. Stick gets up really quickly for that. Great read from him. Now Ixo slowing it down a little bit. One minute left, and this uh, Galaxy Racer team up by two. Oh! Oh, my. Goal line defense from Ixo once again. Defensive MVP for the Galaxy Racers in this match. Yeah, they're playing great here. This is just the kind of class that you want to see from an up-and-coming team like them. No fear. Um, they've had a tough game five loss to send us into this one, but no worries at all. They are just playing as consistently as they can. No risk involved in any of these oh, plays. Shot. Matane is nice. in trouble, but he does so well. What a save to deny what would have been Giants' comeback goal. Okay, Itachi on the wall now. Ixo breaks that shot up or that passing play up as well. Arju air dribbles us into the backfield stake, pops it up. Matane, uh, this is just going to fall to the corner here, although the, the Giants... Not not really doing anything that creatively with it, sort of driving forward in a line there. That ball is not fast enough, and it looks GD. like Galaxy Racer is going to finish this upset, and that ball hits the ground on zero seconds. Galaxy Racer take the match. Impressive as well. This was really, really well played by them. The finishing of Arju was on point. Ixo got that 1v1 goal, which is also huge. Uh, missed one earlier on in the game, made up for it with the later play. I mean, Ixo and Samway kept on finding themselves in these little 1v1 positions, and Ixo got the last laugh in the final one that they had. Um, but yeah, Arju's finishing, that was what kept them in this and get them ahead in this matchup. They avoid that nasty lower bracket match with BDS.
Wow. GG's the Galaxy Racer. I take my tiny hat off to you. We're going to throw to a break, and we'll be back in a little bit to analyze this match. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Rocket League Summit 2. So I'm happy to be back. We just saw another series there. Uh, Galaxy Racer taking out Giants. Now, I'm just going to say it straight off the bat. I've already told these guys I have spent the last 30 minutes playing less tetherball mode. I have no idea what happened. I heard Matane's name heard a few times, and I do love him. So I'm sure he, I'm sure he went well, Johnny. Um, I'm just going to throw it to you because I will be as useless as anything here. Um, what happened that series? Well, it's okay, CJ. Luckily, that's really just what we expected anyway, so no change there. Um, but <laughs> Galaxy Racer, were, they were phenomenal. Giants uh, were, I think, the favorites coming in here. They're higher up in the, in the standings for RLCSX, but they just kind of panicked at several key moments in this series, and Galaxy Racer didn't. Galaxy Racer held their cool in defense when they were in tough spots. Giants, time and time again, in these clutch moments, they just they kept on messing it up. There was one game though where they had a great time. They scored they scored enough goals in game two to win the whole series, but unfortunately, um, uh, that was it. That was the only game that they really got rolling in. Well, yeah. the flashes of brilliance there in game number two. Smellsworth, the uh, the races of the galaxy, um, as you'd like to call them. Uh, obviously, <laughs> obviously, great win uh, there. What were your thoughts? Oh, a little bit of an upset. Um, could could you see this happening going into the series and? Uh, uh, do you think that uh, they can bounce back here, Giants, uh, in the lower bracket, I guess you could say? Oh, for sure. I would never count this team out. I will say, yes, I did predict this. Uh, this was 3-0 uh, and o on the uh, matches today for me in terms of predicting the winner. So mm -hmm. um, GG's to me, uh, for sure. And apologies to the Galaxy Racer organization and to the Vodafone, <laughs> and to the Vodafone Giant. Uh, I am so sorry. Uh, for getting the count wrong, um, you know. If you did want to change your name to Galaxy Racers in the future, I do think it's pretty hype either way. Um, and your team is playing great, so congrats on that. I mean, that's probably the bigger deal. Your, your team's winning, so closer to that 25K. I mean, winning is the main thing at the end of the day, but I think the Galaxy... I'm, I'm with you. I think the, the Galaxy, the races, the races of the Galaxy and the Vodafone Giant, the singular giant. Uh, <laughs> Vodafone be... Giant is actually better, for sure. <laughs> Vodafone Giant does sound awesome. However, we do have uh, another, the final or uh, well, first match of the group, I guess, the Group B match. Top Blokes against Endpoint coming up next. The I'll be still bloke. here, but uh, the, the, t the top bloke. The blows yeah, the giant. The uh, but uh, it should be good fun. Uh, I'll be here. Uh, I don't know if you guys will be here. Will John, someone will be here. I'll, I'll be here. Me. Yeah, I'll be here. Don't worry. John will be here. Not we'll say goodbye you. to Smellsworth now. Smelly, uh, Johnny's coat tailor, Matt. Uh, it's been a pleasure day one. How have you handled it so far? You're telling me that you're pretty warm in that uh, cashmere. Uh, yeah. Cashmere. Yeah. Yeah, this uh, cashmere, big mistake. Sweating <laughs> for sure. Luckily, it's white, so you guys can't see anything. <laughs> Uh, that was a really exciting series. It's about two hours past my bedtime. I am an old man. Uh, so once this uh, monster energy stops coursing through my veins, I will lay down to a peaceful sleep and prepare myself for groups. Uh, or, sorry, for day number two for the EU. It's going to, yeah, it's going to be exciting. <laughs> Love it. Well, Top Black Sampler, Endpoint coming up next. Can't wait. We'll be right back. <laughs> we won't be right back. Um, g'day, guys. Welcome this? back to the Rocket League <laughs> 2, sponsored by Juke.gg and proudly fueled by Monster Energy. You guys thought there were a break. I did. So don't you worry about that. All right, fine. You can have a break. About this. Oh, never mind. Apparently, we can have a break. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. Uh, it wasn't my fault, it was their fault. We're going to throw to a break now. Top likes in for coming up next. Thanks so much, everyone, for hanging out.